Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 28th of November with a 3pm kickoff as the Borough take on Huddersfield Town in the Skybet Championship at the John Smith Stadium. Now, after our blip against Norwich City, we finally got back to winning ways with a 3-0 win over a woeful Derby County side at the Riverside uh, in midweek. Um, it was good to see the likes of Patrick Roberts and Duncan Watmore getting the start um, in that game as well to give ourselves up some good options going forward and it paid dividends in this game against uh, Derby side who weren't quite up to scratch by any means at all. Um, now British Sombolonga <clears throat> opened the scoring after just uh, inside half an hour and then two goals in the second half were an own goal from Matt Clark and Marvin Johnson's uh, terrifically taken finish. Sealed the three points for the Borough which climbs us up back to seventh in the championship, just two points off a playoff place, going into the trip up to West Yorkshire to uh, face a Huddersfield side, which I will get to in a sec. Um, that obviously the John Smith Stadium. I've been there a couple of times myself um, as a fan. Um, one occasion we won, and one occasion we drew. So it's a good stadium, uh, the John Smith Stadium. You know, uh, with the open air concourse, if you open to the elements, like if it rains, it can be a bit. Of a, uh, a nightmare place, but um, once it's uh, it's not raining, it's actually really good. Um, really different concourse wise, you know. Instead of like being inside in a concourse and then being the one that's like an open air one, which is really different and unique. But as far as our squad goals, um, I said about uh, Duncan Watmore and Patrick Roberts. Um, I think, in my opinion, it will more than likely that both of them could be rested for the game coming up uh, on Saturday. Um, with probably either the likes of Jed Spence or Duncan, uh, Jed Spence or Marvin Johnson can go back at, into the starting lineup. But that's only a possibility. But um, hopefully, um, Neil Warnock said in his press conference uh, after the game in midweek that Sam Morsi could be fit to return, but only if suitable for a place on the bench um, if things go swimmingly at training uh, before the game. And apart from that, it's only the likes of um, Ashley Fletcher and Marcus Brown that are still out with. Injuries at the moment. Now we're going to our opponents, Huddersfield Town. You know, like I said, I've not got a bad thing to say about Huddersfield at all. You know, they've got a great stadium, like I said, um, good place to go to, good fan base around the club. Um, it just managed to stay up uh, from the Championship last season, obviously, but eventually, but for some reason, they've sacked Danny Cowley uh, at the end of last season, which I find a little bit odd for them, in my opinion. They've bought a new manager now in Carlos Corberan, uh, who's in the prep was an apprentice of sorts to Marcelo Bielsa whilst he was at Leeds. Had a couple of years as a first team coach there, now making the jump up to management. Um, and, Hud and Huddersfield has um, gone through a bit of an up and down start uh, to the Championship this season under Corberan. They're currently sitting 16th place in the Championship at the moment. The current record is played 13, won 4, drawn 3 and lost 6. Last game out for them was a 0-0 draw away at Wickham in midweek. Um, so they'll be hoping to bounce back and hope they start climbing up the table themselves because I think they're only about seven or so seven or so points off a of playoff place themselves. And Huddersfield, like I said, they are a good side. Um, and like I said, I've not got a bad word to say about Huddersfield Town overall. Um, place to look out for, obviously, Fraser Campbell is an experienced striker who can get themselves amongst the goals at once fit. Um, another player to watch as well, Janino Bakuna, who's particularly a threat when it comes to set pieces and free kicks, etc. And they've got experience in the back with the likes of Richard Stearman and Tommy Elpick and Christopher Schindler, who's well, who's a player who I'd ra I would rather have the Borough, to be fair. In midfield, they've got the likes of Lewis O'Brien and Carol Erting, who they brought on loan from Ajax at the start of the season. Um, and also a Diamond Acape as well and Alex Pritchard. So they've got a pretty strong squad, uh, do Huddersfield, and on their day, they can pretty much beat anybody in, in any league in any, any way possible. Now, the last time we played Huddersfield was on Boxing Day of last year. The 1-0 win at the Riverside for the Borough with Jed Spence grabbing the only goal of the game. So we go to this game, Borough fans, after the back of a good win over Derby. But um, it's possible, you know, that we should go into this game. Hope we can get the three points because we've got a pretty tough start to, to the month of December coming up with Swansea at home. Stoke away and Preston away in our opening three games the next month. So it's crucial. We should get three points from from the game at the John Smith Stadium coming up against the Terriers. 
But let us know your thoughts and predictions for the game, Borough fans, in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Our social media links are in the description below. And until then, Borough fans, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV, and I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game against Swansea City at the Riverside on December the 2nd. Until then, take care and stay safe, and let's hope for another win on the road this time. Take care, up the borough.